What's up everybody, Gerald Mays here with Plus One Community and today's six minute video we have the one and only Chef Roberto Higuera. And he's here to talk all about fresh versus frozen. And if you're anything like me, then that is one of the top questions when it comes to how do you select or like your produce. Do you buy fresh? Do you buy frozen? Is fresh healthier? Is frozen healthier? What is the deal? Well, Chef Birdo is here to give it all to you right now. It's Chef Roberto here from Plus One Community. I hope everyone is having a fantastic morning, a wonderful morning like I am. As you can see, I just got done with, uh, with a really good workout here. And uh, just wanted to uh, hop on and talk about a little bit uh, today, Six Minute Monday. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, fresh versus fro frozen produce. Um, is there really a difference? You know, are there benefits to each, uh, to one or the other? Um, so, you should get right into it. I mean, um, you know, fr uh, fresh produce, frozen produce, uh, in my opinion, whichever you know you can get your hands on um, is best. Uh, I know uh, <laughs> usually you know, people don't want to hear, you know, are they both good or not? But yes, in my opinion, both they're, they're both great. Um, the only difference between obviously fresh frozen would be that fresh produce, of course, has, oh. Wait for these planes to roll by. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, so yeah, the, uh, with fresh produce, um, the, the texture itself is gonna be, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be amazing. Um, you know, you could definitely taste a lot lighter of, of the actual uh, vegetable, fruit, whatever it is that you're, you're eating. Um, also at the same time, it's uh, it could be, you know, very sweet. Um, and um, you get more of the actual, the essence of the, the product when you eat it fresh, um, as opposed to, to frozen. Uh, frozen, what they end up doing is they basically pick the fruit right at its peak ripeness so like as soon as it's nice and ripe on the vine they go ahead and pull it they'll blanch it and then they'll freeze it so there within that process you're already losing some nutrients obviously not all the nutrients but some are being lost during the cooking process but at the same time too as you get you know you cook it through and you freeze it you're also preserving some other nutrients that didn't get lost in the process as opposed to when you know when you're dealing with fresh vegetables sometimes they'll pull it a little bit before it's ripe to give it that you know Cause you gotta think about it, the way that we receive our produce, you know, there could be bananas that, you know, I could be eating one right now that's from all imported all the way from Chile. You know what I mean? So they definitely need to pull that weeks before it's ripe because, you know, by the time it gets here, they pull it at peak ripeness, you know, it's gonna be that, it's gonna get all, all, all those black spots on it and stuff like that. And, and usually us as humans, you know, we eat things with our eyes. So the minute we see some little dark spots on a banana, we think, oh no, the banana's not good anymore. But in reality, that banana is already at its night. You know, it's at, a, at its right, at its point to eat. So, when comparing the two, you know, fresh produce usually gets pulled way before in advance, so that the transport it has enough time to kind of, you know, finish on through. Not necessarily pulling the nutrients that it's been pulling out from when it's rooted, but just letting it become more edible is what you know what the word ripe has now changed into, especially in the way that we uh, uh, we get all our, our produce now. Um, it's changed to how edible it is, is what kind of the word ripe now means. Um, that's why I think, in my opinion, there's some vegetables and some fruits that I buy frozen. One, because, you know, fruits and vegetables are always seasonal, right? You know, I can't have, uh, you know, maybe corn and what well, depends where, but now we can, but let's just say, you know, back in the day, like, you just can't have corn, you know, in the, in the spring, you know, that's normally kind of more of a summer, kind of like a fall thing. Um, and so normally they'll do that, they'll, they'll, they'll grow a bunch, pull it all off, blanch it, freeze it so that you can have it year round. That's probably one of the reasons why I would get frozen. Two, another reason why I would buy frozen is because of its longevity. Um, I could keep frozen fruits and vegetables in the freezer for up to a full year without them going uh, bad up until then. Um, by that time, I mean, you just start, you know, freezer burn and all this stuff, but technically they're still very, very edible. But that's the whole point. And premise behind freezing is also longevity, um, which you really can't do that with, with fresh produce. And, uh, and last but not least too, with, with frozen, another good point is that um, 
it's very practical, very easy, and it's it's kind of like you know, um, not many steps required on your part to to do to to get it ready. What I mean by that is is uh, usually they they already pre-cut it. Usually, like for example, broccoli. Uh, broccoli already comes in little florets. You don't have to necessarily break them all off. You don't have to blanch them off yourself. You know they're already they're already blanched and cooked. All you have to do is just defrost or heat up some way or form uh, either boiling it real quick in some water, throw it in the microwave, and it's already ready within seconds. You know, your, your fresh, your frozen uh, vegetables are nice and hot, ready to serve. Now fresh, on the other hand, the flavor, uh, in most cases, is, is a lot better. The texture, most importantly, is 100 times better, um, as opposed to your, your frozen. Um, also, too, you get more, you know, of that moment feel, of, not feel, but that that flavor, you know, the essence again, the essence of the actual fruit, or what it actually really is, to me is the best part about about fresh. So, whether you're choosing fresh or frozen produce, you know, whatever you can get your hands on, um, by all means, do it. There's not really one one better or the other. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Whew. Yeah, there really isn't one one better or the other. Uh, you know, they're both as equally as great. So. Whether you choose fresh frozen, let us know. And uh, don't forget that we are going to be having a webinar. Um, we are starting to take signups for our five tips to weight loss. Um, so please make sure you guys uh, fill up those seats. Come join us. Come learn a thing or two. You know, expand. And uh, come join the community. You know, we welcome you to Plus One. As you guys can see back there. We'll be, we'll be happy to have you. Happy to help you. And we hope to see you in this journey. All right, everybody take care. Peace.